mild strength Loctite. Torque the bolts to at least 75 foot pounds. That way they won't come loose during operation. Okay, now that I've got the coupler tight, we're all done on this end. Now I want to send the rod and the piston all the way down to the hopper where we will install our orange piston cup and the piston plate.
the other bowl. Now I can go ahead and remove my guide pins. Make room for my last two bolts. Once we get these bolts started by hand, we'll take a ratchet to them and tighten them down. Now when you tighten the piston cup, it's very important. You want to tighten all four bolts equally. So just go in a crisscross manner. Once all the bolts are snug, do a final torque. These bolts don't have to be very tight. About 35 foot pounds is all. About as tight as you can get with a 3 8 ratchet. think you've got all four bolts tightened down snugly, go ahead and go over them one more time. Just to make sure they all feel about the same tension. Okay, so that will complete our piston installation. Okay, now we're back at the flush box. We've already installed new pistons. Our couplers are back in and tight. So now all we need to do is put the drain in the flush box and install our proximity bar. Once we get this bar installed and tightened down, all we have left to do is fill the flush box with lubricant. We use hydraulic oil here at the factory. We like to fill it just to the top of the coupler here. If your machine cycles extremely slow at a slow rate of speed, it's best to fill your oil level to the top of your cylinders. That way your piston cup is always lubricated regardless of how slow it strokes.